Your headlines from news.com.au. Hey, I'm Lexi Cartwright. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 15th of December. Australian actor Craig McLaughlin has been found not guilty of all allegations he assaulted women while performing in the Rocky Horror Show. The 55-year-old was charged with seven counts of indecent assault and six counts of common law assault against four women. The court hearing began in 2019 and heard from more than a dozen witnesses, with the magistrate today ruling he was not guilty on all 13 charges. Overseas now and Donald Trump's Attorney General, William Barr, has announced his resignation. The president, who has publicly criticised Mr Barr's performance in recent days, announced the move on Twitter today. Earlier this month, Mr Barr pushed back on the president's claims of voter fraud. He said that while FBI agents were following up on specific allegations, they had not yet found fraud on a scale that could have affected a different outcome in the election. It comes as Joe Biden's victory over Donald Trump was formalised by the Electoral College today, effectively blocking any remaining path Mr Trump had to overturn the result. To other news now in Pornhub has deleted most of the videos on its site following a backlash over illegal and depraved content. The site has been in the crosshairs for a seemingly laissez-faire approach to content moderation that allowed videos to remain up without verifying the consent of the people in them, videos that in some cases even featured child sex abuse. Pornhub has now brought in what it claims are the most comprehensive safeguards in user-generated platform history. As a result, more than 10 million videos have been removed from the site and there are now less than 3 million left. To enter Entertainment now and Smokey Robinson, you know the Motown legend? Yeah, of course. Well, he's gone viral thanks to his hilarious mispronunciation of the word Hanukkah in a cameo video. Okay. So the music icon was asked to extend his well wishes to a woman named Margot via video message in light of the annual Jewish festivity, right? Cute. But Robinson wasn't aware that Hanukkah is sometimes spelt traditionally with a C in front of the H, right? So it kind of looks like Chanaka on paper. Okay. But he got a little bit confused. Have a listen to this. And they warned me to wish you... Happy Chinooka. I have no idea what Chinooka is, but happy Chinooka (laughs) because they said so. Anyway, God bless you, babe. And enjoy Chinooka. Honestly, that video is so adorable. Very I love cute. Finishing with sport. And an Australian Super Netball team has been hit with a $300,000 fine after it was caught cheating. The West Coast Fever team was fined the large sum and docked 12 points for the 2021 season after being found guilty of salary cap breaches worth more than $296,000 over two years. The Super Netball Commission found that no Fever players were aware of the breaches and that no current coaches, including coach Stacey Marinkovic, were involved in the cheating. And hey, do you want to celebrate the end of the year with a bang? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was sure. waiting for you to answer that. <laughs> We're giving you the chance to win a share of $5,000 cash. All you got to do is head over to news.com.au slash win to enter our Christmas cash giveaway. That's it from the newsroom. We'll have another update in the morning. Your headlines from news.com.au.